A Marion County business owner wants to get results after a teen died over Memorial Day weekend at his dirt bike park. Deputies say the teen was trespassing and then swimming in a quarry on the property before he died. Now, as News Six's Matt Petrillo shows us, the owner is calling on the state's top prosecutors to take a tougher stance on trespassers. Since that teen's death, the owner says he's seen a surge of people swimming in the same quarry despite having plenty of warning signs. Really unfortunate. It was almost two weeks ago when Glenn Knox of Hard Rock Cycle told News 6 he felt for the family of the teenager who died while swimming in a quarry here. Even though Hard Rock Cycle is a park for dirt bikes, swimming not allowed. They knew they weren't supposed to be here. Right now, Knox believes trespassing is the only law he can currently use to charge people who come into his park without paying and go swimming in his quarry. But he thinks it's too soft because the only way law enforcement can charge trespassers is if trespassers are still on the property by the time they arrive. So Knox wants to get results to prevent another needless death. He's planning to visit his local state attorney general's office tomorrow to see if he can charge trespassers with theft, just like movie theaters can do against people who sneak in without buying a ticket. There are certain steps that we have to to follow uh, to work within the law to enforce that law. Officials with the Marion County Sheriff's Office says if Knox were to file other charges against trespassers, the charges likely would not stick. I do see his is what he's trying to do here, and it would take changing Florida statutes uh, for us to do something different. A new six asked the attorney general today if she thinks people should be and can be charged with theft for trespassing in this dirt bike park. We'll have her response tonight on New Six at seven. In Ocala, Matt Petrillo, New Six.